Hey babes, welcome to the vlog. I hope you guys are doing well. So today my hair is a bit wonky. I don't know what is happening. <laughs> um, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Adrige. I love all things fabulous. I'm a fragrance lover. I love fashion and we love all things fabulous here. I'm heading out right now with my sister. I'm helping her with the personal shopping service i'm going to go out with her i'm wearing this old jumper from zara these pants are h&m trainers are from louis vuitton bag is ysl and i'm gonna throw some shades on because i'm tired i'm gonna go for oudis bahan as fragrance i have to leave now i know everything feels quite rushed but it's because my sister's already on her way out uh, I don't think I'm gonna do any earrings. Wait, I think I'm gonna wear this bag like crossbody. <coughs> yeah, I'm gonna wear this bag crossbody. So, like this, so like a very relaxed look. But I don't know why. yeah so shades i want something that's also quite relaxed i was thinking to wear these chanel sunnies but i think these are a bit too big for the vibe that i want maybe i might even wear these um cartier i think this cartier one is nice what do we think Yeah, I think I'll do the Cartier because I want this look to be quite clean. So this is the vibe. This is the look. And I'm going to do the rest of the filming on my phone. Yeah, I like this look. I think this is cute.
were hungry, so we decided to come to my phone keeps freezing, I don't know why, to uh, Alto. I've been here before, but this is my first time with my sister. Um, it's raining so bad outside, honestly. Jelly lifestyle, say hi. <laughs> Um, so in this part of the video, I wanted to talk to you guys about my breast reduction journey because it's officially been, yeah, it's officially one year now since I did the girls. Yeah, I was going to do it as a separate video, but I thought, you know what, I'm just going to include it in today's vlog so you guys can see, well, see, <laughs> so I can fill you in on what's been happening, what the journey has been like. XYZ. So if you haven't seen my breast reduction video, I will link it in the description box down below. Sorry guys, I haven't touched the camera in so long and I feel like it just looks wonky. Um, yeah, so if you haven't watched my first vlog where I went to Turkey, did my breast, I would suggest that you catch up with that video because I did answer a lot of questions on there. This part of the video would only be my recovery process and what the girls look like now. Obviously, I'm not going to whack out the girls and show you, but you can pretty much see um, how they look now in comparison to, in comparison to how they were before. Um, so I did my breast in 2020, no, 31st of August 2023 and my breasts were a 34G yeah a 34G my god just saying that sounds crazy I'm five foot three so I'm petite okay disclaimer before we get into this video I know that this is a very sensitive subject surgery is s serious I'm not pushing anyone to go and have surgery I'm not encouraging anybody to go this is a choice that you will have to make for yourself um, and you have to be, um, what's the word? This is a decision that has to be convicted from you, yourself. I know that as women, we have our insecurities and sometimes our insecurities or the things that we're insecure about can also be medical. Like in my case, it was medical. So always think about... Um, speaking to your doctor and really taking care of yourself before you consider having any sort of surgery because it's not light work. This is a, a matter between life and death. So I wouldn't come here and encourage anybody to just go um, blindly to have surgery. So I know that many people have lost their lives because of this. So this is a subject that we cannot um, speak of in a way that is you know encouraging or um pushing people to go and have it done because they might not come out alive so you have to be convicted um to do this make sure that you always do your research um because that is the most important thing with that being said this part of the video is in collaboration with clinic hub they kindly sponsored my trip to turkey and helped me to achieve my um to have my breast reduction to achieve the look that i wanted my breasts were not in proportion with my body because i'm petite i'm slightly curvy ish i have some body but at the same time i'm, I'm a slim short person so my breasts were too big it caused me back issues um those that know know my back having big breasts really caused me a lot of issues because my breasts were bigger than the rest of my body 
and so therefore it created a lot of tension on my lower back and that was yeah that was definitely one of the reasons why i wanted to get my breast done and the fact was that i couldn't it was so hard for me to find things to wear i had to go two three sizes up just so that things can fit my boobs but then it meant i had to spend money to alter things all the time and sometimes i didn't alter the things that i would wear so they would look a lot more bigger and having big breasts made me look a lot bigger than I was. Um, I know that I will share some pictures that you can see, but I was definitely always quite, after lockdown, I was quite heavy, um, like a lot of people. It was really hard for me to lose, to shift the weight from COVID. And I think having my breasts done, uh, the recovery process helped me to lose weight. I have a discount code. Well, it's not really a discount code. It's a referral program where you can save a hundred pounds off your dental and other surgical procedures. If you're thinking of doing it, I would recommend you go with Clinic Hub and then you can save some money also. My doctor was Dr. Brack, Borak, I think, but I will leave everything down in the description box for you. So like I mentioned before, I was a 30, 34 G and um, now I've gone down to, I had my breast um, measured, I think three months ago, three, four months ago in Casadonia, but I think their sizing was slightly off, um, but they gave me a 38D. Now my back is always a 34 because I have quite a small back. That's when I knew something wasn't right and the, um, what do you call it? The bras were actually quite big as well on me. So I didn't end up buying anything. Um, I've been trying to get an appointment with Mark Spencer. I've had no luck. So I just gave up. To be honest, I barely wear any bras. Um, I wear my sports bra a lot and i sometimes i wear the, the really ugly bra that you have to wear after the surgery sometimes i wear that at home um what else do i wear yeah i think that's what i mainly wear sports bra or that or just nothing i just go braless because i can <laughs> so that's that um okay the healing process the healing process for me i would say took a good eight months right the first few weeks were i mean now looking back will i say it was painful like my pain tolerance my pain tolerance is quite low i would say it wasn't that painful the most pain i felt was definitely when i woke up because i woke up to a shock um to my system and my chest felt very tight it just felt like I had been banging out gym and going like 150 kg or something. That's what it felt like. My chest felt so tight. I couldn't move and I was finding it hard to breathe. Not because I was not literally, but I couldn't breathe because I was just thinking what is happening. Like I would, a bit of a panic, should I say, you know, occasionally you'll get twitching, which I sometimes I still get like a random ch -ch like the nerves is like reconnecting randomly occasionally i get that um so what i had was the oh god it feels like such a long time ago it was the um i forgot what they call it but it's where they cut underneath and they cut open and they remove the nipple put everything back together and then stitch the nipples back on i forgot what the term for that is called anchor it's called anchor that's it i, I did the anchor method and i think it's the best method and in terms of um, pain, like I was saying, during my um, healing process, I really wasn't in a lot of pain. It just felt very uncomfortable. And um, another thing is that it feels the breast or where the cuts have been open or where they've operated rather feels very itchy. Um, while it's healing, it's normal to feel itchy because the skin is closing back, is closing up again. So that's very normal. Um, if anything, the itchiness is what's really uncomfortable. You would itch and itch, but obviously you cannot itch it. You can't touch it. You have to just leave it. Okay. So it's having to set your mind on completely some, on something else and ignoring what's happening on your breast, you know? So that's one thing I would say. Um, the nipples, I know that when I first made my um, initial video or the vlog was about my breast reduction, my breasts were still healing. So they were still pretty much up here as well. And um, the right nipple was 
perfectly fine full of sensation probably even more sensitive and this one was just a bit dead um and throughout the months and throughout you know throughout the months and waiting for it to fully heal thankfully the sensation is there but i've noticed that this one is a lot more sensitive and this one is just normal you know so thank god that the left sensation has come back but it's like normal how it was before and this one feels super sens uh, sensitive so but do they still hurt yes a little bit if i touch it with like that if i tap it or touch it with pressure i would feel the pain so you have to be very gentle when you're washing because if i accidentally hit it i'm gonna be in pain um so you just have to be extra careful and take extra uh, precaution when around the boobs and especially the nipples because they were literally sewed back in so they're very sensitive and still you know um gotta be very gentle so definitely i would say just voice it and speak to your doctor let them know that you want to breastfeed um will i be able to breastfeed i still don't know because i haven't had a baby yet but when i did speak to my uh, surgeon those were the concerns that i raised with him and he said like he's doing he's going to do his best to ensure that i get the sensitivity back and to make sure that i milk um breastfeed sorry but again he's not god sometimes people the doctor might say yeah you'll be able to breastfeed but you don't so i guess that we'll have to know when i have a baby but yes i should be able to breastfeed it shouldn't be a problem it might take me a long time to get the milk to function the way that it normally does because obviously the nipples have been you know taken off and placed back on so <laughs> scarring let's talk about scarring because i know you guys have been on oh my case about scarring I think I have a picture and about, I think I have a picture of the scarring on one of my breasts because obviously I can't show you both and I can't show you my boobs because this is the internet. I don't want my body to end up everybody, everywhere. but it's just a, a corner of where the incision happened so that you can see the, uh, the scar that it has left basically um so that's one thing as well and yeah and he did what was best for to suit my body shape to suit uh and yeah to suit my body shape so yeah babe um so that the scarring is minimal i used a mederma cream another cream that they gave me to put on the um on the on the scar i used some vitamin e oil that i purchased um and to be honest with you, does the scars, because obviously I have scars here and here up to there, right? D although it's there, it's visible, slightly visible. Does it bother me? No, they don't bother me at all. Because I think the charge that I had has literally lifted my confidence. Yeah, what this surgery has done for me, having my breast reduction lifted my confidence it mentally spiritually emotionally um it affected me so much you know not being able to wear what i want to wear always looking bigger than i am always feeling uncomfortable you know feeling very uncomfortable very always conscious about this area um at times my breast would will be up to here like it was too much it was too too much it was super heavy for my body and it just yeah it definitely has given me the confidence to feel more feminine to wear whatever i want to wear and not having to worry you know about looking too big or feeling too heavy or you know the buttons coming off you know this always happened to me and i i struggled so so much and having my breasts has really helped me to become more confident to to wear whatever it is that i want to wear you know and i think as a woman having that option is amazing to just put on whatever you want to put on and you look spot on will your breasts stay up no once you get your breasts done they will look up because they're swollen right and i think a lot of people expected my breast to con continuously stay up here forever First of all, I have no implants in my breast whatsoever. This is all my breast tissues, okay? I naturally, um, I'm naturally somebody who has a lot of breast tissues. Big breast is in my family genes, okay? We all have very big boobs. So no matter what I do, I will always have bigger boobs compared to 
I'm a D now, but if you look at somebody else that's a 34D, their boobs will look a lot more smaller than mine. But because I'm somebody that has a lot of breast tissues, a lot of breast fat, my boobs will always be bigger, right? Um, will my breast come back? Yes, it's possible that when you get your breast done, it can grow back 100% because breast is made of fat. The more you gain weight, the more your breast will always, will also produce fat and they will get bigger. Has my breast gone bigger because I've gained weight? No, my, my weight has been, it fluctuates, but at the moment I feel like I'm quite slightly up and down, but quite steady. So it's not enough to impact my breast like that. But the doctor did say that it takes up to a year to see your actual results because it will give the breast time to soften. As you can see, you, can you see? This is like, this is just skin. It's giving my breast enough time to soften to become more natural. Where before, when I felt my breasts, they felt hard and rocks. And it felt like I had rocks inside, okay? Which gave it that really high look, um, which kind of gives it the implant look, okay? Did I like it? Yes. I did like the implant look, um, looking breasts because they looked more high up. I didn't have to wear a bra. I don't need to wear a bra now, but because they've gone down a little bit, this is literally my breast with no support, right? I feel like with certain outfits, I might have to wear a breast tape because I want them to look really up, right? They're not going to look hard and high up because again, this is real boobs with real breast tissues, no implant whatsoever. Would I do implant in the future? No. Uh, I'm, I'm happy with them but I just wish that they were a lot more smaller okay I really do wish that I was more of a B but I know that it's it would have been impossible to do it then maybe if I go back and do it now then I can achieve the B but will I go and do it again no okay that's it I'm happy with them but I do wish that they were a lot more smaller um just because I like that look and I think it looks nicer on me <laughs> but yeah no i'm happy with them and thanks to clinic hub i was able to you know feel beautiful again uh, i will forever be so so grateful yeah I, I barely wear a bra to be honest with you some people say no wearing up not wearing a bra will help your will, will push your breast to sag i don't know how accurate that is if you know please do comment down below and let me know um but I barely wear a bra now and I'm just happy seeing the girls just <laughs> enjoy. Honestly, it's the best feeling ever. I, I have found that um, one out of five women that do get their breasts done naturally are unhappy because they always want it smaller. And I think when you've come from having such huge boobs, you just want it gone, you know, and mine particularly was so big so so big i wish i could show you pictures but it's very sensitive and it's too much it's too much and it might be too much for some people i can't even look at those pictures myself so um yeah but i will show you but it's um yeah most people go under knife again i think i watched a girl's a vlog here i forgot her name she, we got her breast done maybe the same similar time but i think she got it done before american girl and I think six months later, eight, six to seven months later, she was unhappy about it. She said they were still big and she wanted to go back and do them again. But I haven't checked in to see if she got them done again. But I was definitely, I've been on the same boat. I feel the same, but at the same time, I'm just grateful that they're a lot more smaller and I can get away with so many, I can get away with wearing so many different things now. So yeah, I'm happy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I think I've, and I hope that I've answered your questions and um and if you're planning to do it because i know so many of you message me that you want to do it you have your appointments some with clinic hub some with other um companies but please 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 no matter what it is that you want to do always make sure you do your research so thank you for watching guys i love you lots i'll see you in the next video Mwah.